The 120 shines task, guys. It's like been in the works for over five years. It's basically a tool assistant speedrun, you know. Um, flawless movement, pretty much anything they want to do, they will do because it's it's like going on? frame by frame recorded. Press the button. I will. And um, it's basically a, a perfect gameplay, you know. Obviously, a task can always be faster if, if there's better ideas to save time. But with the ideas they had, this is absolutely flawless. And it's going to be a great watch. We're only going to watch the gameplay. So good. <laughs> There's Mario. Look at him. So yeah, this is all frame perfect. I mean, everything frame perfect. Look, even... even There's enough free time to, like, mess around and spell something. Look at that. Dude, this is so cool. I love that. I love, I love when Tassus have free time. And can just like mess around and show up. <laughs> All right, let's skip the intro. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, fast as possible. Fast as possible route. This is it's gonna be really fast. What? Oh, that was the blue I was like, where did that blue coin come from? That was the blue that was the blue bird. Right? It had to have been. <laughs> I was like, where did that, where did that coin come from? So that's already an improvement. A human player would get only the last blue coin during that cutscene. But the task gets the blue bird plus that coin. That's already a big time save. And yeah, you, you get the coin while it's fading out, so there's no text box. That saves, like, a lot of time. Insta, you'll you'll be seeing that in every single Shadow Mario, the insta insta kill. Oh, no bonks in the the sewers, <laughs> a dream. <laughs> oh my god! And the frame perfect dive like right out of it. I love this. Yeah, I've I've only ever seen Tusk do that. You can activate the M. Be during the cutscene, but also entering at the same time. That's crazy. All right, maximum moment momentum with the double into triple jump. Sliding as fast as possible. <laughs> the wall kicks are so bad. It's 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 so crazy. I I don't even know. That may have been a glitchy wall kick. I'm not sure. Let me let me check. I'm kind of curious. The final one. I think it was. Yeah, that was a glitchy wall kick. Right? I I'm not, it was hard to see because the the windmill's blocking it. Choo choo, Chris Chris sign. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bottle Monkey. No Bianco one. Uh, Bianco one will be done later. It's to it's because during certain parts of Delfino Plaza, there's cutscenes like intro cutscenes, and once you beat the game, they're all gone. What's going on? So pretty much every time you enter yes, Delfino yes, Plaza, yes, 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 yes. Every time you enter Delfino Plaza, um, it'll save a cutscene, and it's like I don't know. I'm not sure how long it is exactly. I think it's like two seconds, two and a half, maybe. Oh, 
Thank you, Lemur, for the, the resub. And thank you, Pioneer, for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I'm just excited to be here and, and watch the task with you guys. <laughs> I can just leave. <laughs> There is, well, RNG Manip? Oh, maybe. That's true. RNG Manip probably exists if they know their RNG seeds. Who, human players wouldn't know that. Yeah, yeah, There, you will see Gelato skip. You pretty much, you, you visit every level twice. It's, it's worth, it's, it's definitely faster to leave and come back later. To skip all those cutscenes. And um, and besides, some levels you have to revisit because Yoshi isn't unlocked yet. And you need Yoshi for some blue coins. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Can we talk about what just happened? I, I've i never seen that movement before. That was so cool! It's like lining lining himself up with the the spider to get in quicker, and and that's that saves doing the wall jump. Ah, oh, glitchy ledge grab, dude. Those are terrifying. Glitchy ledge grab to to basically skip the animation and, and pick yourself up immediately. So fast. Alright, see, you see this cutscene right there? That's skipped in the endgame. That's why we want to rush endgame, like, ASAP. Endgame being... Um, watching the Corona Mountain cutscene. And then after that, everything's gone. Okay, that's what players actually do this. Like, getting this blue coin during... Chris sign, Chris sign, Chris. Wow, Chris. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Chris, wow, Chris pop. Thank you, myself. Wait. Oh, are they gonna get the blue coin and re-enter at the same time? Wow, and they even had extra time. That wasn't even close. Oh, the cutscene skip. I didn't even talk about that, I guess. If I'm explaining things, maybe I should mention. Like, entering... Entering Bianco as Rico finishes his loading just saves walking. Just walking to Bianco again. That's all. Pretty cool, though. I love the angle change wall kick. Oh, momentum. You'll be seeing those a lot. Was that another le glitchy ledge grab? Yeah, I think so. Because it was an instant it was an instant pickup. Um if you roll out on to like a sloped surface, Mario will like run really fast in sunshine for some reason. And if you do an immediate like spin jump out of it, you just keep that momentum. And you'll be seeing that in like almost every level. Thank you, Badger. Alright, I mean, the boss fight's gonna be straightforward, I think, right? The, the cool thing during this boss fight is, you the Taz is gonna use all the time it has to collect, collect as many blue coins as possible while fighting PD. So prioritizing starting the battle. How did that eat? Oh, that hit PD. Bro, I didn't even, it was so fast I didn't even see it. Okay. 
getting up there uh, is like tough, tough enough. Okay, during during the beginning of this, I usually get like two blue coins. <laughs> they, I don't know how many does it's been, like five or six already. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Remember when I said straightforward? This is probably the most impressive level yet. Oh my god. time. I usually get this one too. I think at this point, if I'm doing 120 shines runs, I would be at like 12 coins, 12 blue coins. The glitchy ledge grab. They're using it so much. Yeah, not bonking there is actually a miracle. And of course, the frame perfect lineup with the shine. What a journey that level was, Jesus. <laughs> All right, the gelato cutscene is now open, so you pay, you want to get rid of it as soon as possible. And then you notice once once you got an ex another shine, the next time you enter Delfino Plaza, there will be no cutscene. Are they spelling something again? Oh, interesting. They're preparing four of the fruits for the fruit ladies dur during the gelato fight. Oh wait, no. That was a wall clip. Okay, three of the fruits. And then the coconut for the wall clip to get the blue coin. Wait, what? The durians were bait, guys. I got baited. It was just the coconut. It was just the coconut. It was just the coconut for the wall clip. <coughs> I, I got baited. <coughs> but they had some free time to push durians around. Maybe that's an idea to consider. <laughs> Maybe I just saved them time, you know? Maybe I'm just dead smart. Ah, uh, look at that. The spray. Dude, that's crazy. Look at that. The spam spray to push the coconut. And look where it went. One of them hit the top of the hut. For the blue coin. And then the other one was close enough to do the clip. Was it memory? Oh, was there? Oh, I gotta I got talk about that then. Hold on. Okay. So, in, in Super Mario Sunshine on, on GameCube... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, if you hover into a blue coin, you lose your hover and you start falling immediately. Unless a memory card's plugged in. For some reason. So, for that, they put a memory card in. Uh, so they can keep hovering for gelato skip. <laughs> I think it's unless you say no while the memory card is plugged in. If you say, I think if you say yes, you still use your hover. Okay. 
Oh, it doesn't matter? Yeah, it just has to be a memory card in. Yeah, that's so weird, right? Real runners actually use that once in Corona Mountain, but unless it's outdated. I'm a I'm a Super Mario Sunshine Boomer man. I don't know any of the modern strats. All right, just one one coin without time loss. I did, I did, Angela. I've learned it, but I didn't practice it, so I I can't do it anymore. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, see? We're spawning, we're spawning and there was no cutscene. There was no intro cutscene of like a level or anything. And that saves a lot of time ac across the whole run. That wasn't even that crazy. I could do that. <laughs> We've got su sunshine zoomers in the chat. Yeah. The 120 shines task, by the way. Uh, a little spoiler, I guess. Not, well, there's no timer on screen anyway. Um, is two hours and 23 minutes long. And the fastest 120 shines by a real player is, I believe, around a 250 something. I actually don't know. It's, it's. I think it's a 30 minute time save. Yeah, it's around 30 minutes faster than human. I didn't even talk about that level at all. <laughs> like the the perfect the perfect chain chomp pushing. Okay, okay, okay. We got another auto scroller. The last auto scroller was the PD fight, right? And that was super cool. Let's see what what they did in this one. So Piantissimo is an auto scroller. But how many blue coins can they get during the race? I usually get one, two, three. I can get four when I play the game. On a good day. It's one, two. Three. Oh, four. I'm Taz, guys. No, they got completely different ones. <laughs> they got they got like completely different ones. Only the sign and the last one. The tri the triangle one saved the most time. That'll save a backtrack later. Backflip re-enter. Is that faster, I guess? Then I jump backwards. Alright. Uh, this level is pretty cool if you've never seen it before. Damage from lava is different than damage from other enemies and objects. So there they intentionally spawned like face first. No, jumped face first into a Gumi to take Gumi damage instead of lava damage, and then they don't start bouncing on lava for like a couple frames. My god. Three spam sprays and he's clean. Where's the, where's the moon coin? I didn't see it. Oh. <laughs> How did that even- <laughs> Ah, okay, it was, it was on the rollout. There was a rollout spam spray. <laughs> Alright. Pretty cool. 
The glitch ledge grabs are so fast. Yeah, I think they work on most platforms if you grab the corner, like too far in the corner. You would never do that in like an actual run though. It's way too risky because if you miss the corner, you just fall. This is the GameCube game. GameCube task. I am a nip. If you're holding the chain and hold forward, the chain jump goes faster than if you just let him go. It's really, really weird. And then the movement is to just make sure he walks the right way. Nice. Perfect spot, too. That jump ground pound is like the hardest thing ever. I can never do that. Because the shine is so low. Smilers, smilers. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching Taz with me. This is an action movie I'm looking like. When I first saw the 120 star task in Super Mario 64, dude, I was blown away. It was so good. I watched that thing probably like five, five, six times. And having another movie like that to watch. Nice. Keeping as much momentum as possible. You can't really save much time here. Did they just jump? They just did a dive rollout on the glitchy like platform. During the clip to save even like a couple more frames. Like it's the small things like that that impress me. Nebby, thank you. Obviously perfect RNG here. Perfect cycle. Like if there is good RNG they will, they will have it, like, that's just how it works. In order to make the final cutscene I was talking about spawn, the Corona cutscene, you need to fight all Shadow Marios. So that's pretty much what the task is doing first. Go to every level and beat level number seven, no, uh, mission number seven. Because that's the Shadow Mario one. And then return to every stage. So all of that spraying, like look at this. Right there, spam spray to activate the one on the right. Roll out spray to activate uh, this one right here. And then Oh my god, roll out to activate this one over here. And then spin spam spray to activate uh, those over, over here. Wait, was that one too? That spray right there activates the one on the right as well. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect spray. I think there's some, uh, some amount of RNG with spam spray, like exactly where the water goes. But the task obviously has perfect RNG. Double blue coin grab to save a text box. And then here, yeah. Blue coin grab during the shine. Wow. 
Refilled water with a Gumi during the the last adults. Yeah. I guess they were low in water. I don't know if there was if that was a swag strat or actually necessary. It was probably just swag. <laughs> Yo, what up, Mario? Okay, I'm assuming we're gonna see a blue coin grab during this level. Instant Shadow Mario kill, and then we have free time. Yeah, that's the blue coin I get during 120 shines as well. Oh my god, dude, these momentum jumps are so scary. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, should I should I hold the GameCube controller? All right, guys, let's go next level. All right, wall. This is, I mean, this is pretty cool, actually. I should explain this, right? Okay, so if you if you exit a level or die on the same frame that you start a cutscene, you skip the cutscene, okay? So what they're doing here, they clip into this wall to grab the blue coin, bonk intentionally onto the out-of-bounds floor. When, when, when you stand out of bounds in Super Mario Sunshine, the game will kill you if you stand still. If you are grounded for like, I don't know, two or three seconds, the game just kills you because they, it thinks you're stuck and you need to get out of there. So, bonks to the floor right here. And then just, I guess, walks or dives into the cutscene. On the same frame, Mario dies. So cutscene was activated. And because that dying is faster than watching the cutscene, we're just standing on top of Pina. The game still puts you where the cutscene would put you. Why again are all Shadow Mario's done first? It's to start the Corona Mountain cutscene. That will unlock all nozzles and skip all, all Delfino Plaza cutscenes. Yeah, there. this is an easy one. You just exit the level as you enter the cutscene trigger and it skips it. Like, this is probably the easiest 50 seconds you can save for however long this cutscene is. How early can they beat this? Okay. Yeah, this cutscene skip as well. You just exit as the new, the new one starts. If you... <laughs> if you miss this cutscene skip, which is really easy... You, lo you lose... You lose your run. Like, that's GG. That cutscene is so long. It's like over two minutes long. And also, it's like kind of the most important cutscene of understanding the plot of this game, but we'll, ne we'll never see it, so we don't know the plot now. You're, you're missing the Bowser Jr. lore. Yeah, yeah, this is the cutscene where Shadow Mario is revealed to be Bowser Jr. And you, you'll never know. All right, we have Pina 2 with the, the blue coins in the baskets. You can clip into one or two of them. Oh, it doesn't do the clip though. Okay. Wow, all this movement is like somewhat necessary to manipulate the um, the black bullet builds to actually go where you want because they aim for Mario in a way. Whoa, what the hell was that clip? 
You just go. He just went into the cannon. I've never seen that before. Look at that. Collision. It like I guess this saves a couple frames. You can just enter from the top too while the guy is like going in. You don't have to do this. Alright, I believe the task can't save time in this level. I was wrong. Ah, never mind. They can't make it. They No, no, no. They can't make it. See, no matter how fast you go here, you can't make the cycle. You can make this cycle, but you have to wait for the next one. That's pretty close, though. If they saved, like, another second or so, they could probably make it. But, like, how do you save more time? <laughs> they would have to find some, like, weird momentum glitch to save another second there and make the cycle. That'd be a huge find. I don't know how that's possible though. Like, how could they possibly do that? All right, we're going back into Pia Peanut 2. Wait, that's really weird. Why? Okay, I don't know why 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 that's happening. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, I understand. I understand. It will save time on scrolling through the shine menu. And that and that time must be the time you spend scrolling through the missions must be greater than the time you save from Delfino cutscenes. Ah, there you go. There's no time loss from Delfino cutscene because there is no Delfino cutscene. Well, there will be earlier now, though, because you have an extra shine. Del 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 Delfino cutscenes, they start at certain times. They start at, like, three shines for Rico, five for Gelato, ten or twelve for Pina, and then twenty for Noki. So the cutscenes will just start earlier now. Unless it works different for... How many shines are we at? 17. Oh, are they overlapping cutscenes then? The the Yoshi cutscene with the... Uh, with the Noki one? So they're oh, so they're oh, okay. Wait, that makes no sense to me. <laughs> Won't we watch the Noki cutscene more often then? Ah, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Also, that level was really crazy, but I didn't. I like only half paid attention. The Yoshi cutscene plays until you unlock Yoshi. Yes. And then the Noki cutscene will play right after. Because we're at 20 shines. Yeah, Yoshi unlocks after this level right here. Pina 4. Yoshi will unlock for every level once you beat this level. Okay, so we save one cutscene then, Bragos. Okay. Ground pounding all the turtles. Oh yeah, the durian strat. That one's really cool. I've actually seen this before. 
So once you once you ground pound one of the turtles, there's like a timer that starts before the cutscene can play. And if you ground pound them all at once, you just save that time in between. So if you one cycle it, you save like a couple seconds. But also, while that all was happening, they pushed the durian right where the, the shine is and, and started bouncing on the durian. So when the cutscene ends, Mario can just fall through it perfectly timed. Instead of having to jump after the cutscene. It's the little improvements, man. Very important. Alright, Pina 5. Are we doing the skip? No, probably not. That doesn't seem worth it. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm assuming we're just doing the Ferris wheel here. Because you have to do the Ferris wheel anyway. Yeah, no skip. Oh my god, that route. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 what? What the hell? <laughs> the, the, the dive cancel. Out of the Ferris wheel. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Mario is just up there during the cutscene. Man, even that is just so hard. So hard to do. Like doing... They're doing an instant turnaround. Was it a side flip? Oh, they're doing a side flip. Side flip, ground pound, spam spray. Yeah. Oh, momentum. There was another momentum spin jump. But this was a different one than the one I was talking about earlier. That was a slight momentum instead of a rollout momentum. You'll be seeing that a lot. So they will intentionally like start sliding down a slope and then spin jump out of it and you keep all the momentum. The Beyblade, I guess. Alright, I'm sure Pina 6 won't impress me. It's just another floodless level, you know? That was such a late activation. What? Stacking two of the pairs. Oh yeah, all the delayed sprays to, like, beat the stew. And we still need Yoshi for the butterflies. Oh nice, another slight momentum. Oh, we need Yoshi to enter the level though. Another slight momentum off the palm tree. And a frame-perfect dismount, you love to see it, because we don't like Yoshi. That was a- that was a momentum triple jump. How's that even i I've never known. I feel like I've never seen that. I'm starting to think Chris isn't doing this life. Wait, what? I'm amazing. See, there's the Yoshi cutscene. I mean, it was there before. Is the Yoshi cutscene faster than the other cutscenes? 
<laughs> oh, maybe it is. That was really, that was a really short one. Like, is that shorter than the Noki one? All cutscenes are the same? Okay, wait. that's what I thought. The instant Shadow Mario. Are we gonna get a blue coin? Are we gonna get two blue coins? Nice. Blue bird. The task has to do a lot of different routing. I have to think about what else can we do? We have a, we have half a second of free time. What do we do? I'm not sure, Jesse. Forty nine, maybe fifty. All right, Rico, first time. There's a couple uh, level one exclusive blue coins. My god. These jumps. Oh, you can get the submarine from over here. I always go like way in front of it. Oh, because you have to. <laughs> the blue coin spawns there. <laughs> but they, they, they use the time of the blue coin flying out to travel there. You know, more optimization. That was weird. Like an intentional bonk. This blue coin is so hard to get casually. Like even with the turbo. Using that a little bit of extra free time you get from the boss respawning for the second phase to just get some stuff done. I am very much excited for Pikmin 4. Yes. I, I, I'm, I'm so excited, man. I'm gonna cry. Oh, 10 blue coins equal one shine in this game. You can trade one, 10 for a shine. But you can do it all at once, so you will, we'll see it at the end. Alright, level 2. Intentionally, you're, suppo you're supposed to get the, the bloopers and then ride to the cave. And they're doing it! <laughs> I mean, you kind of have to for one blue coin. I think this blue coin right here is level 2 exclusive. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> nice. They die during the cutscene. That one doesn't matter though. That's just another swag strat. Alright, blue pull S. In order to beat the race, you have to hit checkpoints. There's a checkpoint right there. Once you hit it, you can turn around. And then there's another checkpoint like up on that platform. Like right there. And then you cross the finish line. And that saves like, I guess the task saves like six, seven seconds here. It's pretty fast. Why do they pick green? Uh, the bloopers all have the same top speed, but the green has the best handling. And purple has the, the hardest handling. Green's also the closest one, true.
this is this is the shortest shine in levels. Ah, there's the Beyblade twice. They all have the same speed, yeah, but only if you hold forward, Fireball. All right, Rico 4. This is another floodless level. I'm sure this won't impress me though. Like I've seen it all. Another momentum slide. Ooh, fancy wall kick. Oh my god, okay, never mind. There's more momentum slides here. On like the the super steep slope uh, slopes to get the most amount of momentum. Look at that slide! Oh my god, the jump's so far! Oh my god! I I was impressed. <laughs> They go so far. Okay. Oh my god, it's so fast! Mario just goes so fast with all these momentum jumps. You're leaving? Damn! Okay, I don't know if that cost any time at all. It may be half a second. Getting, getting the M during the respawn. Jeez. So fast. Are you impressed yet? Uh, I'm okay. This could be faster. You know. Beginner strats, beginner strat. <laughs> Rico 6. My least favorite level in the whole game. And this won't impress me. <laughs> it's just blooper strats. Yeah, it's just blooper strats. Like. Doing a weird order to save the most amount of time. Oh my god. I was skipping landing on the boat entirely. And the Shadow Mario. This is the easiest Shadow Mario to like do speed strats on. They're, they're gonna get a, at least one blue coin during it though. The blooper. Right there. Not the blooper, the, 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 
The spider. Oh, dude! Check this out. Nice wall clip. What? You can't roll out on that. That's like a pixel wired. I was impressed. Yet again. Alright, that's... Um, all the Shadow Marios for everything but Bianco, Sirena, and Noki. We're going back to Bianco. Ooh, Bianco 6 is going to be sick. Oh, boy. This is the most frustrating level in the whole game. Because if you make a mistake at the end, you lose so much time. I, I, I burned out on this level. Bad memories only. What is this route? Where are we going? Oh, that's actually smart. Gets a blue coin during the approach. Glitchy. Glitchy ledge grab. Momentum spin jump. Oh, swag strats. <laughs> nice. Wall, nice wall clip with the rollout. <laughs> so, so fast. Why is it called German route, Red Ghost? Is that a term the community uses? I think it's because Hidden Power and I did it. I think literally it's because it was because Hidden Power and I did it, and that's it. The only two Germans. <laughs> oh, not the only two Germans, but the two Germans running at the time, I guess. Oh, did Wilco do it too? I don't know. Guys, check this out. Mario does a rollout here. Rollout spray. You see? Right there. It flies. Flies off. Hits the banana. Banana comes down. Does an instant turn spam spray. Banana starts flying. And, and a wall clip through the pipe, of course. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> thank you, about Jesus. Thank you, thank you. That segment was really cool. So fast. Ooh, this is gonna be cool. With perfect spam RNG, like spam spray RNG. Oh my god, this fight. If I don't know how hard they tried to make it as optimal as possible, but this level probably took them. Like, this must be one of the hardest levels to task. This must be so difficult. Saving a lot of water. <laughs> oh my god. 
It's over already! <laughs> I've never seen that. You see them turn red and then they're like all gone immediately. Holy fuck, that was fast. That was very fast. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Penny. I got, we gotta go back. Hold on. Here, here, here. <laughs> and they're all gone. Oh, that was for the last one? Huh. I guess they couldn't optimize it to, to like, die immediately. <gasps> oh, wait, no. This is, it's a teleport. It's intentional. So... And they're all dead except one. Right here, they turn around, spray to kill it, which gives them just enough time to grab the blue coin before he teleports Mori in front of the hotel. So cool. I can't wait for Serena 6, the beach cleaning. That's gonna be so fast as well. With perfect, like, spray RNG. <laughs> Just one wall kick. <laughs> Double dive. And momentum. Look at that. I don't know if that camera angle had a purpose. Like, if anything, maybe it manipulated the stew. But it didn't seem important. I don't know if Sunshine works that way, but usually in Mario games, if something is not on screen, it's not moving. Alright, this is the banana clip, except... Four words? This possible? Okay, what you usually do here... You grab the banana, and then you wall kick up to the top, but what they do... Oh, they store it in the air. Look at that. That's a Japanese, like, only glitch. Uh, right here. They, they throw... Oh my god, it's really hard to see. They throw the banana... I don't know the inputs. You throw the banana, you cancel it somehow. I forgot the inputs for it, but... The banana gets stuck in mid-air. And then, like, it's right here. The banana's right here. And then they use that position of the banana to spam spray it all the way to the top floor. So they don't have to wall kick with it. Crazy, man. Oh, 
crazy. Oh, Serena, Serena 4, guys. This is the casino. With the casi the three casino mini games. But I'm sure the task will find a way around those. coin <laughs> that was just swag as well there's no reason to clear there's no reason to actually win one of them <laughs> nice why are we not oh yeah see we're not looking where we're going this might be intentional I mean, everything's intentional. Well, you don't know. Actually, I don't know what's a swag strand and what's not. If it's not on screen, it's not moving. So they, there might be a reason for them to not look where they're going. It could also just be a swag strand. I'm not sure. Someone can let me know if that was like a platform manip or if that was just swag straight. I don't know. The, that camera angle makes an invisible floor near the start. Oh, so for an earlier rollout, sweet. Alright, this is the King Boo fight. With a blue coin behind Mario. Yep, didn't even look at it. They're gonna use the Dorians. Whoa, I didn't even see the hit. Okay, so King Boo spits out the, the chili. And here they sp they time the spam spray to, to shoot the chili directly into King Boo's mouth. And the, from the same spam spray, the durian hits King Boo. Or maybe another fruit. The durians are all gone. They're all out here. So here's the spam spray. The chili flies in. What the hell? The chili isn't even in the mouth yet. The chili, the chili is right here. Maybe the other one hit. Oh yeah, that would make sense actually. It looks like this. Maybe the frame of the chili spawning isn't visible. I don't know. No, there's there's the other one. Wait, which chili hits King Boo then? No, no, you have to you have to use the chili first. Otherwise, you can't deal damage to King Boo. So that's a little confusing, I guess. I guess the chili hits him right here, and the spray from the uh, hits the coconut, which deals damage on the same exact frame. Maybe it's disappearing. Oh, I guess the chili doesn't disappear immediately when it hits King Boo. Okay. Wait, what? You can do that? Hello? 
Hello? That's new. Oh! It's like half in the ground. Cycle skip. I've never seen that before. Again, sprayed the fruit and the chili at the same time. Wait, that's so that's crazy. What the the whole the whole slot machine's like underground. That's cool. This can be done RTA, but it's a 1 in 4,000 chance. Oh, okay. Never heard of it. No, no one ever goes for it, so I guess it would be hard to discover, like, on accident. Actually, that's probably how they found it. Someone probably found this on accident. All right. I, 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 this is probably my favorite level in the whole game. How fast are they going to clean the beach? They're also going to get four blue coins at least, probably five. There's one spawned already. They break the chest as they pick it up to get the water. Double coin grab. Yeah, if it skips the text box. Again, of course. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they got they got the, the five blue coins and cleaned the level faster than I can just clean the level. I mean, that makes sense, right? <laughs> I think I've gotten the 228 before, maybe once, but obviously without blue coins. Or 226 or something. I forgot what my PB is in this. All right, Shadow Mario. This is probably gonna be a blue coin run. My guess. They're gonna get a ton of blue coins here. Alright. First thing, Beat Shadow Mario. Oh, nice. The off-screen triangle. That's a strat everyone should be using. What the hell? That seems pretty easy. Okay, we're not doing the blue coin run yet. Oh, you do use that? Well, good for you. <laughs> I've never seen it before. Alright, we're going to Noki. For the last Shadow Mario. Oh, what happened there? How did we get back? A, tr a backflip or something? Or like a side flip dive? Mario somehow make made it back to the other platform. Thank you, Panic Gifting. So to add me. Oh, Noki 2 is cool. We'll see a major wall clip in this one.
Oh yeah, thank you, Hobref. I'll do that. I'll do that after this. Okay. Okay, that's a that's a wall clip in a different spot. Wow, barely actually makes it. Look at that. Barely lands inbounds. Face first into the ground. Thank you for reminding me about the gold thing. I'll start it now. I hate that it announces it like that. I don't want it announced like that. That's too flashy. Anyway. Alright. No key three. This one's... I mean... Kind of an auto-scroller. Not really. But it feels like one. Because the level is really easy. And you have to wait for Mario sinking. Speedrunners call anything an auto scroller. Well, <laughs> it is, this is not one, but it, it like I said, it, it feels like one. All right, next one is the eel cleaning. So, when I run the game, I get five teeth on the first cycle. I think uh, good runners get six teeth on the first cycle. What's the task gonna do? There might be a limit. I'm not sure. Oh, we're not going straight to the boss fight. We are! Oh, that's so cool. Okay, this is really cool. Check this out. So, I think Noki has like... Your own... Okay, wait. How does it work? In order to be in the swimming animation, you have to enter the surface of the water. If you clip under the surface of the water, in Noki, you enter a lower surface. Life is an auto-scroller. You wait until you die. Or you do an any percent speed run as soon you are born. Thank you. Panic. Um, yeah, yeah. So they what they do here... They clip through the floor. So they, they enter the surface still. And then they clip through the surface of the water. And now they're in the lower level. And it lets them get this blue coin way faster. Because you don't have to swim all the way down. Swimming, like, swimming down is super slow. And then they have to just hit the loading zone for the boss fight. So they, they climb up this... This thing with a wall jump. To hit it. So cool. I've actually done this glitch before in Noki, where I where I clipped through the surface of the water. It usually happens on accident. Okay, can you tell me if this is a meme or if this is real? Is spam spraying like this actually making Mario sink faster? This is real? Oh my god. How annoying. It seems frames in task. In RTA, it lags, yeah. What's going on? Alright, how many? Chris Comfy.
<laughs> Welcome oh to God. the group. Uh, so basically, that was fast. Also, um, they take damage while finishing the last tooth to skip the cutscene. But that's not too difficult. But it saves a lot of time. How much time does it save? Like 15, 20 seconds? Pretty big. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. And Quartz, of course. So basically, that was fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Hey, am I qualified to do this commentary for this task? Probably not. But I'm, I'm having a good time. Don't believe anything I say. Um, just as a heads up. I'm making things up as we go. If you choose to believe me, then that is, that's on you. <laughs> Alright, so Piantissimo is an actual auto-scroller. But, what are we going to do during the free time while Piantissimo is finishing his race? I'm going to grab as many blue coins as possible, obviously. Two. Three. Four. And then we wait. And we get the swag time of... 33-33. Of course. What's the deal of playing the game in Japanese? The fastest language, text-wise, is Italian. But the Japanese version of the game um, has faster loading times. So it's overall faster. I think it's because in... I mean, there's also Japanese exclusive glitches, like the, uh, the stored, like, banana thing we watched earlier in Serena. Um, there's also, like... I th okay, I'm not sure if this is true. Chris, wow. The Japanese version has less fruits in Delfino Plaza, which means less objects to load. I know that, that's true. And then also, I think the Japanese version doesn't load the music on the transition screen. It loads the music after, so you can get control over Mario before the game is finished loading uh, the music. The music starts a little later. So Jap basically Japanese version fast. That is an insanely long spin jump, Jesus. Nice. <laughs> and thank you, Drakus. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, there's a hype change. What the hell? Guys, we're just watching a video. Why would it load faster? I just said it, I, it. I'm assuming the music is the biggest part. It doesn't have to load the music until Mario is already like spawned. And in the in the other versions, it loads it during the transition screen. All right, swag shreds. Not enough time to get anything done during this cutscene. Dude, we should watch a task for a video game I've never seen before, and I'll just pretend like I know everything. That could be fun. Welcome to the crew. Swag strat. Uh, thank you, Panic. And thank you, Salamence, as well. No problem. Bluebird. Okay, now the Corona Mountain cutscene has the finished playing. That'll unlock every nozzle. And it'll skip all Delfino cutscenes moving forward. 
basically fast, okay? So GG, guys. Run over here. We're just going to grab uh, the coins and beat Bowser. <laughs> no, obviously not. My goodness. Oh, boy. Speedboat. Here we go. Speedboat with coins. Oh, I guess we don't need the boat. Ah, uh, that was another memory card. Oh, again? Yeah, they're, they're using the memory card here. To keep hovering, just like earlier. Ah, nice. <laughs> so cool. They line up Mario to, to start sliding backwards into the coin as they exit the level. That's so cool. World record. I am Brian the Magnificent, and I do declare, Clown knows or riot. Thank you, Igus. Oh. oh. Oh, nice. I'm just gonna roll. Yeah. Fa this is the actual fastest shine in the game. Coconut clip. Co Dude, coconut clip is easy. Anyone can do it. That is such a weird clip. I I never actually managed to figure that one out. Is we have a question about this clip. This this clip only works if you have like paused the game, right? Isn't that the the, the weird thing where you have to like frame advance by pausing or something? And it doesn't work if you don't do it. I think that's how it works. Oh, there is banana clips like that. Yeah, I think the Serena one has, has that where you have to pause the game. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Where, where is it? No way he spam sprayed it all the way over. What the hell? How did that go so far? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so we stored it in the air again, right here. No way it sprayed that far. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> nice. Is I guess is the turbo fast? Oh, the turbo is fast though because they got an instant turbo boost for the the seventh coin. I don't think it's like it makes the boat go any faster though. No way, dude! The spin spray to get the the final hit on the bird. That's cool.
All right, now that there's no more cutscenes, you can bas basically do most shines in any order. Uh, like the Delfino shines, because you always spawn in the same spot. They're gonna keep a couple as like teleport options. So fast. Where does momentum come from? From the fall. All right. Next one. Probably the bell tower. Yep, here we go. <laughs> nice. As Mario launches in the air, they do the final hit on it. Alright, what's next? Shine gate, maybe? Oh wait, the lighthouse. Does that make it? Oh damn. Did that get up? Wait, actually? Damn. That's what this run sounds like. Chia one hundred. Yep. Thank you. That's the main sound of this run. Alright, Shine Gate now. The most iconic shine in Super Mario Sunshine. IMO. Like if you agree. Press 1 in the chat if you agree. I like it. the first two were two, and then the third one was a zero. Thanks, guys. Pachinko! Okay, that might be the most iconic one, actually. <laughs> I didn't know you could walk like, all sides of this. Alright, is it time for fruit, ladies? Oh my god, this is a mess. There's so much happening at once. Oh my god. Okay, so we're preparing the pineapples. The durians. And then we get the, the blue coin from this guy. Welcome to the crew. Force in PLS. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just like... All right there next to Mario. Last level was... Penny. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna time out panic for like an hour. And then we can move on. Okay. Uh... Okay, the pi pineapples are done. And as the, as the pineapples were being prepared, the durians landed right in front of the goal. Oh, dude, that's even... That's so... Like, that would be so risky. We're spraying the pineapples into the goal... ...before even talking to her. And then talk to her again immediately after.
Oh, Durian. We just did the pineapples before. Thank you, Zorby. Interesting route. Is there a point for third person right before the shine get cutscene? Um, no, it's just it's just the swag strat. It creates like a Mario's gonna look away from the shine. It just looks funny. I don't think it saves any time. Yeah, look, he Mario's just looking away. Oh, we're going to the airstrip. The ice cube. That's such a weird blue point. Like, why is there an ice cube? Why is there an ice cube? Like, just chilling in this tropical island. Ah, uh, we're gonna turn around and then go sideways. I guess that's faster. Whoa, how did you do that instant turn? Whoa, what the hell? Have you seen this? That is weird. An instant turn without losing turbo. Turbo. Like how? Tarbo. Oh yeah, you get 99 coins intentionally here. Because you don't lose them when you spawn back in Delfino. So all they have to do is get one coin now. This task beats my PB by over an hour. <laughs> but just barely. Maybe that's a new goal. If I ever start running Sunshine again, get within an hour of the task. <laughs> Okay, I didn't see which level we entered. It looks like it's just Bianco 8. But we're doing the Bianco 3 revisit now. Nice. I love this movement. I mean, that was smooth. I was There wasn't actually too much cra crazy stuff happening in that level. All right, what do we do next? Bianco, probably Bianco 6 revisit, it's my guess. I don't think there's any reason to do them in a specific order, other than 
doing Bianco. What is it? Doing Bianco. Eight before 100. Yes. You want to do eight before 100 because of the turbo and uh, the, the rocket nozzle. This glitch is so odd. I never figured it out. Using using the rocket during rollouts. It sounds so weird and it looks so weird. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Bonking's actually really fast there. Better than sliding down or doing a wall jump. Bonking with style, yeah. I wonder if that bonk is easy to do into the shine. Because getting the shine is actually really finicky. Maybe... Do run do like runners use the bonk already? That could be cool. Maybe it's too inconsistent. Okay, doing Bianco one now, the first actual mission. Beating the plant, getting the blue coin, and then I think that was just a swag strat, or does yeah, yeah, that's just a swag strat. You just look into the right direction so you can jump dive immediately. Guys, we're almost done. Oh, never mind. We still have time. <laughs> this is such a long video. Dude, this is like watching a movie. Alright, now we're probably doing Bianco 6 Revisit. No, that's 100 coins. All right, we're doing 100 coins first. The co the coconut, dude. How? How did you? What? Wait, where are we going? How did you manage to get the coconut? All the way over there. So here, we sp we spray it. Forward. I guess maybe we're hitting we're hitting this thing, which redirects it to the left, and then right it just landed right there. It's right, it, there there it is. It's right here, and then suddenly it's 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 over there. Like, how? Right into Yoshi, of course. Ah, oh, nice. Slight momentum with Yoshi. And then you shower the people in juice. Oh, both beehives at the same time. Oh my god. It's so... So fast. This is also very satisfying to watch. Because of how optimal everything is.
Oh, the butterfly. <laughs> I didn't even see it. There it is. Dismounted Yoshi before even the, the before the blue coin even spawned. Oh, and grabbed the blue coin during the cutscene. You heard it. Nice. Reverse spray. Bianca 100 is the hardest 100s for you casually. It is, it's very difficult, yeah. It might be the slowest shine for me in the whole game, actually. All right, and now the the revisit. Oh, this one's probably gonna use the turbo. Or the rocket. What nozzle are we gonna use for this level? I doubt it's the the hover nozzle. Okay, it's the, it's the it's the rocket. Here we go. Wow. Oh my god. What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was so crazy. Once again, we, we clipped through the surface of the water. And now we can walk at, at the bottom. Look how fast he goes on slopes underwater. Oh, it's so cool. It's like one of the coolest glitches. Walking underwater. We might- oh, we might see it in Gelato then, too. In Gelato, he goes even faster. Guys, we need to talk about this. Right here. Rocket storage. Rocket storage, walk off sidestep to, uh, to release it, right? Mario just starts shooting up in the air, and then while he goes in the air, you can you can charge another one, and then ground pound cancel on the cloud. The easiest 100 coins, uh, Pina. Pina's super easy. There's the storage glitch again. What? How? What the, 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 just, how? Okay, there's four bananas right here. He stores one in the air. Another one in the air. A third one just flew off somewhere. And then we sp spam spray them in this direction. And they're all here now. Dude, even that was so cool. What is this? I don't even know what's happening here.
It looks like a double jump spam spray hover. Let's watch that in full speed once more. <laughs> Basically, that was really fast. All right, we re-enter Noki 7 instead of 8. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe that removes some of the like toxic water here. The golden the golden bird is available in in every level, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, eight makes you talk to the Noki. Right. So that's just a ton of text boxes you don't want to sit through. So scrolling is faster than that for sure. Okay, that's the revisit to the secret. No, it could be... I guess it could be 100 coins. Nah, it's the revisit. Okay. Nice. Another ledge grab cancel. Nice. So fast. I probably not Honey Drake, no. <laughs> Alright, this is why we skipped the that this is why we did the golden bird on a different level. Yeah. Okay, there's no way this level will impress me. I noticed during during the eel fight we only got one blue coin. So we got the remaining ones now. Oh, it was two. Okay, it was two in... Oh, two in Noki 4 and two in Noki 8. Okay. Oh, never mind. It's going to impress me. We're going to get the last red coin down here, don't we? That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm not sure if that was a swag strat or if it actually saved saved some hover time. It probably saved some hover time. Have just getting it lower. It was like a thousand inputs <laughs> in like 20 seconds. <laughs> oh, all the blue coin grabbing.
that you can make that? That's crazy. What the hell? <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, we're on the turbo now. Skipping that one coin. Too much time. It would cost way too much time to get that, that one coin right there. That camera angle, my god. What is happening? Oh yeah, if you're if you're in a in a sewer or in a tunnel like that, you cannot bonk with the turbo. It just doesn't let you bonk. That's why they can just run around the corners like that. Wait, we turbo over. That is odd. My god, that grab is so cool, too. 160 blue coins. 80 to go. And we're done with Noki! Pianta parts. What's going part two. on? Hello, Chris. Smile. Thank you, Goku. Smile. Hello. We're entering Pianta 8 for either the secret or Pianta 8. It looks like we're doing the secret. Ooh. What? Did, was... What the hell? That's a warp. They're warping straight up to a different spot on the map. Like, we're warping. We're warping from this mushroom to the top of the the big palm tree. Okay, we're, cl we're clipping in, that's not, not too crazy. Okay, and then we're holding on to the, f the, f the, the things that spawn, that you can like, float with. Oh, maybe it's because they spawn up there. Uh, yeah, there's a lot happening. The camera like shoots up to the palm tree and then we ground pound and, and spray the sun right here that's not that's not the crazy part the the warp is crazy though man I've never seen that before That is a really weird glitch. Some type of warp within a level. Not even like a a loading zone warp or anything. I wonder if we're going to see it again then. Probably, right? For the red coin. Nice clip. Wall kicking that small pole is hard enough already. Yep, there, there's another one. <laughs> We're warping to, to this plant for a red coin. What? 
there's a platform you can walk on? Dude, there's... I have so many questions. There's just straight up a platform you can, like, walk on below the pool. I've never seen that before either. Another another warp to the other side of the map. <laughs> and another one to the top of the palm tree. Dude. I've never seen that before. Whoa, that was a weird clip. It was like a fast fall of some sort. And of course, another one. And another one to the top of the palm tree. That level was insane. <laughs> that might be the single biggest time save in this entire test. Like that level compared to the like RTA. hundred coins Once again rolling out onto a slope makes Mario run really fast As you can see Yo, what the hell that's a cool clip Yoop. And now we're at the top Is that RTA viable? That doesn't seem too bad That would save so much time that clip. There's a clip similar. Oh, the Yoshi Dismount clip, yeah. <laughs> nice. I think we used the mushroom here for a slight momentum. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Wait, wait, you didn't even eat all the, the butterflies. I thought it's supposed to spawn when you eat the butterflies. I don't know what's going on. Herlock, thank you for the resub. Maybe if we eat them fast enough. Maybe maybe they were like un unintentionally duping them or there was some kind of like... I don't know. what. I don't know how the game would possibly spawn that early. Ooh, speaking of duping, though, there's a cool glitch in, in Pina 8 with the, 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 the balloons on the coaster. There's a glitch where you can hit balloons more than once, right? Or how does it work? They're definitely going to use that. Yeah, it happened to me before. On accident, obviously. Doing the sideways chuck you here. I don't think they're being stored, Honey Drake. If the butterflies were being stored, they would freeze.
<laughs> that clip again. <laughs> the geometry of this thing is just broken. All right, this was Pina Six, so this has to be the this has to be the secret revisit, right? <laughs> the the Yoshi jingle. Oh yeah, the mem backwards momentum. I think the runners actually use. Some similar strat to that. I guess a little less optimal though. That was the longest hover in the entire run. Not even once has Mario hovered for that long. I'm excited for the balloons on the on the coaster. How many how many rockets will it take to get all 20 balloons? Like I think realistically it's like I don't know 6 7 but what if there is like a new glitch I've not seen before and it's like one One hundred coins with perfect like water RNG. <laughs> so fast. The instant camera turns make it look like it's spliced. Oh yeah, with the L button. Sidestepping. So fast. Alright, should be the next level. Because we've done everything else. I'm, I'm, I'm hyping this up. I hope it's not... Um, Boring. <laughs> There's no way this level would be boring. There's no way. And they, they have to be using some type of glitch to dupe like balloons. Or balloon hits. I'm sh like, I'm certain. All right, here we go. We're not even at the drop. Okay, we made it past the drop. <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's over. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, that, so that duping glitch that is definitely happening because there's still balloons on screen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, the counter goes up to, the counter goes up to 20, but there's there's definitely still a bunch left. Oh my god, so cool.
the pipe secret. Ah, there you go. I was waiting for the the red bird pop. Okay. I mean, that was smooth. It's just weird how we we grabbed the final Oh my god. The final red coin is so far away from the shine. But I guess there's no better route. <laughs> nice. Cool enter. There's a delay when you enter a level, so you kind of have to wait in front of it. So they just did a little style entry with a bonk. Gelato 100 goes nuts. Alright, I'm excited. We have to do most of Gelato still because we did Gelato skip earlier. What are we starting with? Gelato does a really specific order. Okay, we're starting with the secret. What is happening? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. It's like another warp. How does he get from, from the box? Like, he's using the box to push himself backwards. But he, like, teleports into the wall. The camera is not, is not even catching up on time. Okay, this this makes sense again. Like we clipped into the the little box where the the secret shine is in. <laughs> I never I've never done I've never done the shine in in Gelato 8. So th I've never like never thought about how the shine would spawn inside of the the watermelon or like right behind it, I guess. Ah, the painful scroll. It's so worth it though. It saves a lot of time to do gelato skip. Dude, what? You just hear what's going on. You don't even see it. Okay, we spray... We spray... The red guy. We activate this cutscene right here. And then while the cutscene's playing, Mario's gonna jump on this guy and grab the coin. Grabbed. By the way, I, I never mentioned, I think what they're doing here, they're intentionally putting Mario in the fall animation so they can press B. Like, if you if you press B, you do a dive with a little hop off the ground. But if you're falling and you press B, you dive into the ground. And if they do that, they get an they get a faster rollout. Like here here Mario's falling and here Mario's diving. I actually pause at the at the perfect time. So he skips the little hop that goes like up. So he can do an, he can do a rollout immediately, and then they land, start falling, start diving again. Yeah.
Nice. for the revisit. I don't know how RNG works on the GameCube. Constant spraying, it's so unnecessary. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, I, I can explain this. Yeah, 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 here's the up warp. Okay, that's cool. Basically, if you... Did they ground pound? Or how did they trigger it? Hold on. Uh, you guys, you just have to be above it. Okay, if you're above a platform, one of the stand platforms, as it's respawning, it it gives Mario height out of it. It like re it repositions Mario. So what they're doing right here, they go into the middle. They activate this sand block right here to disappear, right? And then they, they grab like every red coin ar around it. Or, yeah. And then they're back just in time for it to respawn. And it warps Mario upwards. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. I did- I did this shine without jumping once. Yeah. <laughs> well, I- I did the- the theory. This- this shine is possible without jumping once. But it was- it took me forever. It was ridiculous. Welcome to the crew! Thank you, Wiley. Thank you. Video looks pretty much over. I uh, yeah, I think this is the last level, isn't it? Have we? No, we have not revisited uh, Rico. We still need to finish Rico, yeah. Oh, and Sirena. What am I watching? One hundred coins. No. Oh, this Piantissimo. Ah, oh, with the double the double blue coin from the birds. That's cool. Yahoo! Yeah, Rico is usually last in 120 shines because you trade the blue coins right next to it. So you want to be near Rico with 240 blue coins. Oh yeah, there's a reason. We did we did Piantissimo uh, first to unlock the turbo nozzle for an earlier level because we're going to use the turbo nozzle during 100 coins. But if you do all the levels in order, you can't do that. 
And then also, did we unlock the rocket nozzle yet? I don't know. I honestly, I didn't pay attention. You want to unlock the rocket nozzle. Which is in a, in like, I don't know, Gelato 5 or whatever. So you can use it in Gelato 4. Which we haven't done yet. Oh, one of the most iconic sunshine levels, guys. The, the, the sand bird. Oh my god, the instant ground pound. We got another... Just under 30 minutes left. But I'm assuming the cutscene's part of it, so... Yeah, like 25 minutes. That's for... Gelato, Sirena, and Rico. All right, are we doing it now? No, not yet. The next level might be the Sandbird. Oh yeah, this level is pretty cool because you can, during the cutscene of the Cataquacks dying, actually they're not Cataquacks, what are they called? They have a different name. Uh, Mario can move. He doesn't know. Oh my god, I don't know what's happening. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you can spray them off? <laughs> Usually you're, you're supposed to ground pound. They're like... Oh, I muted. All at the same time? No way. Oh my god, all at the same time as well, of course. I'm surprised the game even recognizes that the mirrors are cleared, of them just glitching off. You'd expect it's like some somewhat hard-coded to like the ground pounds. That's cool. I've never seen that before either. They're called plungelos. And then like, we get a blue coin here. Yeah. There it is. All right, Samper? No, not yet. They're stalling, guys. They're stalling. All right. 100 coins. Did you guys hear the Yoshi jingle? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we, we hit the register from below to spawn, make the co coin spawn. Mario's basically robbing this shop. I never, did you ever think about that? Mario's just robbing this shop. Anyway, shoots the pineapple to the right. Um, to, towards Yoshi. Yoshi is so far away, by the way. Yoshi's all the way on this sandbank island over there. So the pineapple just goes flying. And then you hear the jingle that Yoshi was activated. <laughs> oh, nice. That was cool. We did the rocket, like, rollout jump with the turbo. Because you he rocketed through it.
We need Yoshi for the, the beehive, and then we can dump him. Turbo again? Yeah, those coins are really difficult to get. <laughs> nice. Okay, like, s slope, slope spin jump momentum into tur turbo cam camera angle switch from a rope to a wall, wall jump and then does that a, a second time. And then this part is really odd. Sometimes when you hit a certain, like, corner of an object, Mario loses his dive. So he dives into a wall. Mario starts falling, which gives him the opportunity to ledge grab, and then he does a glitchy ledge grab, right here, which instantly picks up Mario. What the? <laughs> I've never seen that before. What's happening here? Why? Why is there? Why is there water here? <laughs> and then we do like some some type of fast ground pound. I've never seen that before. Some type of storage. I have no idea. Are we below the surface? Oh yeah, we are. I was talking about this earlier. We use the hut to clip through the surface of the water again. And Mario runs really fast down there. But we're using the turbo anyway, so... I guess it doesn't matter. We're doing Sandbird last, it seems. Alright, this level's gonna be boring, guys. There's nothing to see here. <laughs> Wait, are we, are we doing a surface clip again or no? No surface clip, we're just using the turbo. Okay. Oh, that was it. I think that was another memory card thing. To yeah, that was another memory card plug-in to use to not lose the, the turbo. Oh, look at that painful swim downwards. I guess sometimes it's un unavoidable. Wait, that's a clip. <laughs> okay. So we just clipped below the surface on this rock here because now we're just walking underwater. <laughs> Thank you, JJ. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and we never go back above water. That That's awesome. That is so cool. Oh, nice, JJ. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. My god. I leave on- I leave on Thursday for ESA. I'm only going for, like, extended weekend, basically. All right, now we're doing Sandbird. Sandbird is done with the rocket nozzle. 
because riding the riding the sandbird all the way to the top is way too slow. But you're gonna see some really cool uh, rocket strats. Oh, that clip's cool. I've never seen that before either. <laughs> nice. So yeah, basically speedrunning the sandbird. And then we're just never gonna see it again. Yeah, we're just out. <laughs> Goodbye. The mega storage to make this jump. Uh, just barely. Nice. People actually do this in runs, by the way. I mean, a little slower and like more setup required, but they do the rocket strat in in actual runs. <laughs> a little more careful than that. Rocket storage is pretty easy. It's like a certain button combination that makes it so you... I don't know, the rocket like blasts, but it doesn't actually shoot Mario up. So when you... When you release it by sidestepping off a platform or, or actually... Yeah, by sidestepping off a platform. It just combines all the storage together. I don't know exactly though. I love the entrance. I love just ent like just entering Serena Beach. Look at this. <laughs> it's so cool. I did, oh, I didn't pay attention. What level did we enter? Probably two. Secret revisit. Yeah. Wait a second. Wait, that's weird. Why? When we, when we did the the enter for this level earlier, we did a completely different strat. So either they're both the exact same speed or there was some type of like RNG involved. Oh, that makes sense. It's probably because it's I think the, the strat we just watched is just faster. But the first part of Zirena was done so many years ago. They they couldn't fix it without desyncing RNG. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how tasks are made. I guess they couldn't fix it. It's not just a spliced video. If you... I mean, you could totally splice it, though. <laughs> I didn't say that. I think there was some... There was some guy on YouTube who was called out for, like, splicing a task. Like, cheating in a task. <laughs> because he just literally, like, cut out the worst parts. Like, to the point... He even, like, cut out the loading zone. <laughs> it was, like, so obviously bad. Anyway. Ah yeah, there's an invisible platform. I missed that earlier. So if you look this way, there's an invisible platform right here that you can jump off. But only if the camera 
face is this way. Nice momentum spin jump again. And then here we're going to see another here we're probably going to see a slide. Yeah. You can see it by the sparks. All right. Here, the sparks are flying. Mario is just sliding down and then we jump. Sparks are flying in this heated battle. 40 blue coins to go. Oh, we're gonna see a lot of wall clips in this one, I'm, I'm sure. Serena 8 is the red coins in, in the hotel. Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 chill, chill. <laughs> what? How'd you do that? You can sidestep through the doors? I didn't know that. Like, these doors are locked in Serena 8. Hmm. But only from one side. Wait! Dude! Oh, okay. Using the drop down to clip through the ceiling here and then hover through the floor. So, Mari. Yeah, you can see it right here, I guess. You see like two pixels <laughs> a red one and a white one. Mario's head is like poking out, out of the floor. So he can jump over that wall. Oh, there's another wall clip. Yeah, I've never seen that one before. On the statue on the side. Nice. Oh, another one. Janky objects. On the sink, yeah. Crazy level. Yahoo! 100 coin time. Let's go. Alright, we're doing the outside run now. How are you supposed to get up there? Like, there's a blue coin behind the hotel. Like, it's really difficult to get up there casually. Oh my god, here we go. That is a glitchy walk kick here. Um, right? Yeah, yeah. When you this is this is actually like people do this in runs. It's not it's not too bad to time. If you press like Y, like the the the, the first person button right before you wall kick, you wall kick in the same direction that you're looking. So right here, he's Mario is wall kicking like away from the wall, but they're pressing the 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 first person button. And it just turns Mario around. Look. It's really odd. That's been happening like all run, by the way. That was that was a good pretty good example to show it off though. 
<laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> it's so fast. <laughs> when the in the inputs are just like through the roof. The input speed. It looks even faster because it's so so zoomed into Mario. Nice corner clip. Some other wall clip. They're using the corner of the table here. Right here. Yeah. To clip through it. And then... The door to clip through the floor. Oh my god. Two twenty. Oh, that was it, right? For Serena. Wait, is it? Yeah, that should be it actually. Are any of these clips possible as a human? Oh, the, the floor clips? They're, they shouldn't be too bad, yeah. The, ge the geometry in Sunshine is pretty messed up. In, like, certain parts. Ah, oh, nice Yoshi clip. That's cool. Oh, I see what's happening here, too. Um, Mario is jumping... Right next to Yoshi, which makes him zip on Yoshi, but it's because Mario's Mario's landing on lower ground than Yoshi. Mario zip uh, uh, Yoshi Luigi <laughs> Yoshi zips into the ground, so they they meet. You know. Right here. Louis. What the? How how do you just zip down? It's the same thing we saw in Gelato. <laughs> It's <laughs> so weird. There oh, of course, that's really cool. It's like some weird turbo glitch. Yeah, I mean, that jump is pretty easy. Just gotta go below. And jump. All right, we have to get the durian. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> There's no reason. Oh, no, we do. We do need to get the durian for the for the butterflies. So that should be cool. Ah, oh, nice, the, the, the sewer glitch. If you jump in the sewer, like right there, they did a little did a little jump here, and then, then Mario is in like a glitch state. So when he touches enemies, they just die. That's why the spider dies right there. Nice. 
Nice. More momentum spin. Hey, Ash. We get the turbo. What? Some kind of corner clip again? <laughs> just go through it. How do you can just go through it, man? I would have to guess what's happening there. I don't know. Oh, nice. Back into the sewer for the final coins. Ooh, the slow ground pound back down. I guess there was no better idea or or route. Four blue coins to go. This is, this is gonna be the exact same, except we're gonna enter the level a little differently. The first time we visited, we used the blooper, but this time we're gonna do blooperless. That's ridiculous. You can't slide there, Mario. You can't park here. The inside of this level should look the exact same. It was 20... No, wait. Oh, I don't remember the final time on the first visit. Oh, okay. It, they actually did save, like, another two or three frames. Because... They did this part, I guess, way later than the other one, and found better strats. So, if they redid the, the task with all the new strats that have been found since they started making the task, they could probably save a couple extra seconds. Maybe even more than that. I don't know how, how big the recent finds are. Ooh, this is gonna be cool. Probably lots of momentum spins again. There's one. And there's another one. And another one. And another one. <laughs> Alright, two shines to go, one of them is Bowser. Will he get first try durian? <laughs> Yoshi wants to eat a durian.
And he gets it. Okay, that, uh, that wasn't too crazy. Either. And that's all we needed Yoshi for. I wonder how they're going to get into the cage. Are they going to use a coconut or are they just going to do it without? Because you are like, you need Yoshi technically. Okay, they're doing it without. Yeah, the, ca <laughs> the cage is just a suggestion at this point. <laughs> nice. <laughs> just like corner clip. All right, that's it for all the level shines. Another big trade, 24. And Bowser. What's my worst try? Worst durian try? Oh, I don't know, like 10 probably. I never counted. Okay, this should be the same unless they found new strats again. Oh, looks like they did. Wow! <laughs> That's so cool! So they're, they clipped below... They clipped below the, de the death area and below the surface of the water. How? How? That, that sh see that that should be impossible you can you can do that you can jump out of water surface like that but you cannot jump out of death surface like that so they found they found like an, a safe area to jump out like this should kill Mario right here <laughs> nice Okay, I don't, I don't think the, the fight's gonna be here. They did a momentum spin off the falling platform. The falling angled platform to get quicker to the next one. And they do that, yeah, over and over again. That's it. GG, man. 223.29. That was a really cool watch. Best task ever made. It's definitely up there. Damn, what a what a what a movie that was. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope my commentary was good. I tried to explain as much cool things as I knew. Don't believe everything I said, obviously. I'm not an expert. So basically, that was really fast. Yeah. Um, if I put this on YouTube, thank you for watching and please subscribe.